video I'm doing a room makeover I guess you could call it a makeover I'm gonna be cleaning it decluttering it making it more like minimalistic redecorating it I'm gonna be adding a lot of decorations that I've purchased over the past like six months the only decoration that I really have is that collage kit and before I get started please make sure that you go subscribe down below I'd really appreciate it and also make sure that you turn on my post notifications check out all my social medias my Instagram Pinterest and TikTok are all at Korean underscore underscore Natalie so go follow me on those so without further ado let's get started this is a before shot of my room. As you can tell, it was quite a chaotic mess. The only real decoration that I had in my room was my collage wall, and besides that, everything was very bland and boring. So my goal was to add more character to my room by decorating it to my personal style, and hopefully it would be a place that I would want to spend more time in. I'm gonna start here because I feel like this area is the big culprit as to why my room is so messy. Look at it. So here I'm laying out all my jewelry and I did this because I have a jewelry holder that I hadn't yet hung up on my wall so I was just storing all my necklaces here temporarily before I could hang up my jewelry holder and set up all my jewelry on it. And then I proceeded to wipe down my dresser. I hadn't wiped it down in probably like a year or two, so it was very, very dusty and very dirty and just gross. So I wanted to wipe it down and I just used some window cleaner for that. So there is that shelf. Everything looks great. Then you look over here. This is basically just all stuff that needs to be put somewhere else rather than sitting on top of my dresser. And what I'm planning to do is get rid of that nice stand altogether. And I do have a lot of stuff in that drawer, which does need to be cleaned out. I put all of my decor in this corner. I'm gonna first start by just putting away a lot of the stuff on the top. drawer super dirty inside we're not gonna look but i did clear it out i just wiped down my desk i have all these buffs which i'm probably gonna use as a nightstand i also cleaned up these drawers inside of my desk i just have to put all this stuff away good afternoon it is the next day and i'm going to be moving on to the decorating i'm now going to be moving on to my nightstand First step was to move my nightstand out of my room because I kind of just decided that I didn't need a nightstand this big since it took up unnecessary space and wasn't really serving me any vital purpose. My collage kit is a Tezza collage kit. I'll link it down below. I don't really know why I'm putting up a picture of people passing around. Like, is that like squash? So for those of you who are curious to hang up these posters, I just use clear scotch tape and I roll them into the little scotch tape loops. And then with that loop, I roll it onto my clothes actually because that puts some lint onto the tape. And then that way the tape is strong enough that the posters will stick to my wall, but it's not too strong that it'll rip the paint off of my wall. I got my mom to come and help me vacuum. I have this rug. It's a new rug that I got at Target. I couldn't decide which way I wanted to place my rug. So at first in these clips, I placed it vertically so that the longest side was parallel to my bed. But for some reason, it looked kind of weird lengthwise like that. So I decided to flip it horizontally. Get it. Next it was time to move on to the area next to my bed, so I started with my little makeshift nightstand and I ended up just stacking some books on top of my record player and then I also added this plant that I got from Target a couple months ago as well as all of my records. So I have this light which I bought a couple months ago and I'm not entirely sure like how to set it up. This light is so cool. I'm really, really glad that I purchased that. I have this blank space of wall in my room that I want to put some pictures on. I have a bunch of Polaroids and stuff that I've printed out from my phone. And I also have these film pictures from disposable cameras that I've taken over the past like year or so. 
But Kate also has a printer like this, so she printed out some pictures of us on Polaroid, which is so cute. So I'm definitely gonna be putting those up. I don't think my dog enjoyed me taking a picture of her. If you're looking for a photo printer, I really wouldn't recommend getting this one. It's really poor quality. Let me just give you an example. Something like this happens where at the top of my picture, there's a black bar. And every single one of my pictures that I print out from this thing has a black bar like that, which is super annoying. It's kind of blurry. The colors get a little bit messed up. It's really not the best. I'm gonna look for some pictures to print. So now I'm going to pick out the disposable pictures that I'm going to use. I took this one at a thrift store in the summer last year. A picture of me in Sahara. This was the most insane sunset that I've ever seen. <laughs> This is the surface that I'm talking about, and so I'm gonna be hanging up the stuff here. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't look good, I'm taking it all down. So then I carried on with putting up the pictures, and the big thing that I was having a really hard time with was figuring out how to position the Polaroids properly because obviously the Polaroids didn't fit perfectly aligned in that small space of wall. Like I couldn't just line up three vertically and have it fit perfectly. The wall was too small for that, so I had to sort of work with the positioning of the Polaroids. And it ended up working out, but it was quite a struggle at the beginning. It is Tuesday afternoon, and we're gonna do some room decor now. So what I'm planning on doing today is hanging up some of my Christmas lights. I wanna hang my Christmas lights along my ceiling. I know that a lot of people have like TikTok LED lights, but those aren't really like my vibe. So we're gonna go to the classic Christmas lights. I'm pretty sure I got these from Amazon, or maybe it was like a hardware store, I have no idea. I guess I'm just supposed to like put tape on it. Oh, I'm coming from Will from Stranger Things brand. So I taped into the corner. It's like the most unsecure thing ever. So I started setting up the lights and I literally just taped them onto my wall. But one thing that I did is because I have a photo collage up, I peeled back the photo and then put the tape behind the photo so that it was sticking to my wall, if that makes sense. So no tape was actually coming in contact with the photos because I knew that would ruin them. So using one set of lights, I only made it about halfway um, to the length of my wall. So I needed to get another set of Christmas lights to finish off the second half of my ceiling, um, which I did off camera. I am going to put the lights up along the ceiling with my new photo wall. Because when it's nighttime, I want it to be like pretty lit up by the Christmas lights. And I feel like it's just like not enough. So for this part of the wall, I hung it up the exact same way, just using tape. But at the end, I ran into a bit of a problem because I had to put the battery pack in my closet. But along my closet, there's this little piece of metal that runs along the top of my closet. So I was worried that the string of lights would get caught in it. But it ended up working out. I just fished the string of lights through the gap in the doors. I recently purchased this set of vines. And my plan was to put it around this mirror here. This mirror is like iconic. I take all my mirror pictures in here. Do I want to ruin it with like these? That is so bad. Here's what it looks like so far. I mean, that's not really it, but I'm going to finish the mirror. I'm going to wrap the rest around. Next, it was hanging day, so I hung these three things up in this corner of my room above my desk. My dad helped me hang up my YouTube plaque, this little shelf from Urban Outfitters, and my jewelry holder. So I'm gonna hang sunglasses off here and then necklaces there and then this little shelf thing It's actually really really secure Now here I have all my jewelry that I laid out I was sober for an hour, but I'm rolling off a bean now. The drugs they give me confidence, I'm saying what I mean now. The Zannies help me slow up. It's currently 9 p.m. I just decided to hang up these lights. Basically, I had these lights from Urban for a while. I bought them like a year ago. They're basically these like little bulb lights. So I just like used tape to hang them up. As you can tell, my hanging methods are super, super ratchet because I'm really worried now that I'm like putting up too much stuff. So I don't even know if I'm gonna keep the lights up. I'm probably gonna take down those ivy because I feel like it ruins like the vibe of my mirror. Comment down below if I should keep the lights up. And also I blew one of the bulbs. I was taking it out of the package, like the metal wire disconnected. I don't really know what I should do about them. We'll see. I said. So 
that is actually all for my room makeover video. I know this isn't a very exciting outro. I really enjoyed documenting everything that I did to my room over the past couple weeks, and I really like how it turned out. I'm going to be filming a room tour and posting that soon, obviously, because that video has been requested ever since I started making videos. So I'm going to show you guys the details of my room and also telling you where everything is from because I'm sure a lot of you are curious. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. We're getting close to hitting 200,000 subscribers. So please make sure you go subscribe. Also go check out all my social medias. They will be linked down below as well. Anyways, thank you for watching. I love all of you so much and I will see you on Sunday with a brand new video. Bye.